All right, so I'm Scott from South Florida Insider, and I'm here with... Holly. And Cam. From Bro. Parallels. Yeah. So, first off, I, I know you were just saying, coming like uh, from up north, from Canada, mm-hmm. making your way all the way down here, how's it been so far on this leg of the tour? Oh, lovely. We love your weather. <laughs> yeah, it's been good so far. We've, we've sort of done like a good like tour across the south from Arizona over to, to Florida now, and then we go to Miami for a show on Saturday. But, um, yeah, no, it's been great. Like, we've avoided a lot of the nasty weather up north. So. And, and the fun. tornadoes. <laughs> and the tornadoes, yeah. yeah. But what's the vibe been like? I know you uh, recently released uh, your album, All Over Again, Visionaries, down here. So what's been kind of the reception of uh, kind of revitalizing, so to speak, the album? Yeah, it's been good. Um, con- you know, consistent throughout the whole thing. On our re-release, we had some new remixes and a cover and a new song, so it sort of gave it a fresh facade kind of thing. So it was good. I think our fans like the new stuff and new people discovered it. So. And, and didn't you guys do something with a Human Life or, or on a remix? Am I right about yeah. that? Or? Yeah, they did a remix for us. Yeah. Yeah, how that kind of... Uh kind of uh, evolved together or? I've well I guess like they approached us or their management approached us mm-hmm. right was that how yeah and we're both working with the same publicist mm-hmm. in New York and um, they were looking for a remix and so were we and we, we really like their stuff we're big fans so we hey. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we got to, uh, yeah, we got to collaborate on something, so that was pretty cool. And, you know, m- musically, uh, listening to your album, I, I swear, like, the name of the band, Parallels, seems to be fitting with, really, the music itself. It's almost like you guys are, like, different parallels all over the place. I mean, the music's such a, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's almost like a soothing narcotic but listening to music, I mean, that sound accurate? Is that kind of where you guys are going for? Or? I don't know. Maybe that's sort of, I don't know, reflective of our Yeah, no, the, the band name was, re- like, you know, put in place for this sort of music, you know. We sort of had the idea to play music like this, and I thought Parallels would be a good name for the band. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, no, that's a nice compliment. <laughs> I don't know if people kind of perceive it different ways, so. Yeah. Well, what, what's the way you kind of perceive it? Because I know you came from another uh, popular band, and uh, really not really the same type of niche. I mean, you, yeah. you kind of constructed things a totally different way um, after doing Crystal well, Castle. So. Yeah, I mean, I was just the drummer in that band. Like, I didn't do any of the writing, so it wasn't necessarily my thing. I mean, this band was always in the works while I was playing with Crystal Castles. So this is, like, a project that I, you know, wrote from, like, Right from the beginning and sort of wanted some, you know, something along the lines of what we're doing now eventually. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not comparable to them at all. <laughs> really. Musically, yeah. Music, musically, it's not comparable at all. So, uh, but yeah. So, uh, I mean, coming from something like that into what you're doing now, this is really what kind of fits what you're looking to do, what you're looking to do down the road in the future? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like... Uh, I don't know, this is stuff that I've been sort of had in, I mean, we both had the idea for this project for a, for a while, and it's sort of, it's turned out to be a, a band, I mean, we, we started as writing, with writing demos, and just kind of getting a feel for the music, and now we've constructed into, like, a band that we can play full shows with, and, mm-hmm. um, you know, we'll, pro- you know, constantly just progress with this kind of style, so, I mean, I think we've defined it already. Yeah. And, and I understand you guys got together when you were much younger too, and kind of reunited after uh, so many years have passed. So how that kind of evolved together, and what differences do you see from when you initially met to now? Well, we sort of we met um, in high school, and uh, just sort of jammed together through friends. I didn't really, I wasn't really friends with Cam, but uh, later on we, through I guess. Uh, playing just in my basement we you know we were both interested in writing music and we were both writing music at the time so I sort of think that that sort of had some foreshadowing so what was to come so so is this kind of something you always saw kind of down the road that you were in a band you were the drummer and stuff but there's something else that you were just kind of waiting to like kind of construct yeah, I mean, before the band, before I started playing with them even, I sort of had rough outlines of songs for this project. So, I mean, it was always in, in my mind to do something on my own. And, and with, you know, with, like, 
a band that I would write for, yeah, essentially. Creative, creatively more fulfilling, you know, writing your own music and kind of seeing it come to fruition and yeah, that's a big part of it. So. And not only that, I mean, uh, seeing some of the videos are definitely big uh, visual elements and stuff. Mm-hmm. Did you guys kind of collaborate together to come up with that uh, visual? I mean, both videos that I saw really seem to stand out. I mean, not even just musically, but visually as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it comes with the territory with, you know, dance music and YouTube and everything. Everything has to be... Well, I guess you would have said that about MTV, too. <laughs> but, you know, it all is, that's a big component of it. So we're both really into that um, aspect as well, you know. Yeah, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of it sort of came together with, like, toying around with ideas uh, with friends of ours who are directors in Toronto. And they, um, I mean, uh, some of them, a couple of them work on either movie sets or they're photographers. So doing music videos was sort of like a... Uh, new experience for them as well, you know, same for us. And yeah. so it was a good experience to kind of just not really have anything ahead of us and just test out different ideas with them and sort of not really look at it as on, you know, such a professional level, just mm-hmm. sort of an, more of an experimental one and just see how things go. So that's sort of the approach for those videos, yeah. those two videos. And on like a different visual extreme, I mean, your music really seems to have a fit that's kind of just waiting to find that right movie. I mean, I almost imagine that if maybe like things worked out the right way, your sound probably would have been perfect for a movie like Tron that just came (laughs) out. I mean, could you could could you see something like that? Is there a movie that's already been released outside that that maybe you could see on that visual element? It would have been perfect. Maybe a a car chase or something. I don't. Now. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything I can think of specifically, but definitely like the influ- a lot of the influence for the project initially was early oh, '80s science fiction movies and um, you know early early yeah early sci-fi nerd stuff like that that I love <laughs> and I've, I've always been a fan of. So um, there's nothing really I can think of. I mean. Uh, I mean, yeah. you definitely have to have that David Bowie influence, so maybe uh, Labyrinth. Maybe if they do yeah. another one, who knows? Yeah, maybe they'll make a part two with Brad Pitt. Or <laughs> so kind of outside the box, I mean, obviously you got some of those uh, synth-pop bands, popular, extremely popular in the 80s. I mean, who are some of the bands out there today, maybe something like Ladytron or something like that, that maybe you guys are drawing inspiration f- from or anything? Um, yeah, there's. I'm really into this band called Mirrors right now. They're from the UK, and I uh, just released their first album. And very, they remind me a lot of Depeche Mode and that kind of sound that I love, and very inspiring to me. And um, Oh Children, another band from Britain. I think they're pretty dark synth kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what can I think of? I guess more. What comes to mind, like in modern, like in the past few years, is probably the knife has been really influential. Yeah. Um, I know they haven't really put anything out too recently, but like um, they're definitely a huge influence. Uh, even like um, John Fox is like one of my, you know, I'm a big fan of his stuff, and he put out a, re- a new record too. So he's, you know, he did stuff in the early '80s, but he's still, you know, producing material, and it's mm-hmm. still, you know, pretty good. So. Yeah, that's sort of stuff as well. Do you find yourself going outside the box, outside your own genre, though, at all? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We listen to a lot of music. I, I don't know. I, I would say, like, I know a lot of electronic music or musicians are influenced by Brian Eno, but I listen to a lot of his stuff that doesn't really fit into, like, an electronic medium. It's, like, uh, it's all over the place, and I think he's a really great in- artist to draw inspiration from because there's really no... It's not, like... You're going to specifically write electronic music if you're influenced by him. There's so many different artists and so many different bands that draw inspiration from him. And he's probably the first person that comes to mind. I don't know if you call him, like, I don't know if it's, like, out of the box because I know he's fairly popular. But, you know, he's one of those guys that I first think of when, you know, taking inspiration from. So, mm-hmm. but, but it's nothing like you're going to all of a sudden start listening to, like, some hip-hop albums, like... <laughs> Oh, really? sometimes. <laughs> this tour is like, we've gone through a lot of music driving on this tour. We've had a pretty interesting soundtrack, I think. Like Motorhead, everything from Motorhead, Thin Lizzy, Bruce Springsteen, um, uh, CBS Radio, Top 100 of 2006. 
<laughs> well, lots of random stuff, but yeah. So a lot of it. We listen to everything. You know. A lot of a lot of music, a lot of downtime, I guess, on, on the all those travels. But have you guys been working on the, the next album, some future projects lined up? Yeah, we've been sort of scraping together demos here and there. We put out an EP uh, right before the tour started called Salomon. That's a like a three track EP. So that's new material, and um, yeah, we're gonna continue to work on new new stuff as we go on. Anything like podcasts or um, anything kind of like that? Maybe you're doing something on your own site? Like there's a podcast we did early on the tour, or it was recorded early on the tour on our Minneapolis date for this uh, night that they throw there every Saturday called Too Much Love at uh, First Avenue. Um, so we we did a podcast from there, and it's up on there. I, th- I think it's too much love.net is the site. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, just like if you Google Too Much Love Minneapolis, You'll, you'll find it, and there's an hour-long mix that, that I did from from that night that's all, like, industrial stuff and 80s industrial. <laughs> and, and, and just kind of wrapping it up for fans, if they want to check out your site or anything really going on, tours or whatnot, where's the best uh, place to try and find you guys? Uh, probably our website, which is parallels.fm, and we're also on Facebook and MySpace. Whoever still uses it, Last FM, we're on everything. So <laughs> yeah, our Facebook is uh, facebook.com/parallels. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Thanks a lot. So much.